This is your brain. Actually, it's a chimichanga, but I'm making a point. Beneath Deadpool's humor and madcap antics, he harbors a sinister side that he has no qualms unleashing. Today at CBR, we're exploring the misconceptions surrounding everyone's favorite merc with a mouth, Deadpool, and his dark side. Deadpool's humor hides a vicious killer. Deadpool's most iconic characteristic is his unbreakable and unfailing ability to crack a joke at any time. There's no moment too grim and no job too horrifying that can't inspire Deadpool to fire off zinger after zinger. It's this absurd sense of humor that's endeared him to so many fans for so many years. I mean, Spider-Man cracks jokes too, but Deadpool's humor is usually darker than some people's morning coffee. The truth about Deadpool is that deep down, he has actually committed some truly heinous acts. No amount of giggling and chimichanga jokes can gloss over the fact that Deadpool has hurt innocent people with zero provocation before. A prime example of Deadpool's dark side was when he tortured Blind Al. While Deadpool was out on a mission, Al escaped and fled to an old friend's all the way in Maine. Believing herself to be safe as there was literally no way Deadpool could have known where she was going, Al instead found Deadpool waiting for her. Upon taking her back home, Deadpool locked Al into a tiny room filled with torture devices and booby traps. He may be silly and funny today, but once upon a time, Deadpool was as heartless as any supervillain. Deadpool's hijinks actually have horrific implications. Everyone knows Deadpool likes chimichangas, right? Time to make the chimmy fucking changas. The Merc's favorite food and constant source of quips Chimichangas are Deadpool's favorite food, which is funny, except for the fact that he imprisoned someone to endlessly cook them for him. As Deadpool was lampooning cooking shows, he looks down into a pit and takes a prepared chimichanga from a man who pleads to be set free. As far as sight gags go, it's 100% Deadpool, but the reality is honestly really grim. It also doesn't help that the man asked him nicely. If it had been a supervillain like Black Tom Cassidy locked up in there, people could laugh all day. But an innocent man wishing to see his family again is pretty dark, even for Deadpool. His humor also hides his pain at his father's abandonment. If there was a single aspect of Deadpool's personal life that's truly heartbreaking, it's the fact that his father walked out on him at a young age. Deadpool would reflect fondly on the days that he and his father would play a fun game whenever his father would come home. He would knock on the door, start a knock-knock joke with the young Wade Wilson, and then burst in, scooping him up into a hug. And then one day his father never came back home. As a child, Deadpool was devastated. Despite being an obvious tug on the heartstrings of the readers, it doesn't change that Deadpool's father abandoned him as a child. No amount of jokes or wisecracks can cover up the pain that Deadpool still harbors over that. Deadpool's charm hides his depression. Deadpool's existence as a mutate, or someone who had their mutant X genes forcibly activated, has been both a blessing and a curse for him. On one hand, he's virtually unkillable due to his incredible regeneration powers. On the other, he's horrifically disfigured because of his body's endless state of flux. Deadpool may put on a tough game, but there's an extremely sensitive part of him that he fights to hide at all times. When Deadpool engaged the Juggernaut in a heated battle, he was cracking jokes left and right as usual. That is, until Juggernaut ripped his mask off exposing his real face. Deadpool screamed in horror and fought to retrieve his mask. To him, his mask is his true face and is integral at hiding the mass of scar tissue beneath it. But Deadpool is a surprisingly fragile and wounded person beneath all the bluster and charm. Deadpool may not be Deadpool at all. In a supremely dark twist of fate, it was revealed that the man known as Wade Wilson may not be Wade Wilson at all. In a climactic battle against his former rival and enemy, T-Ray, Deadpool learns that he was never the original man named Wade Wilson, but just a regular mercenary named Jack. When Wade and Mercedes Wilson rescued Jack and nursed him back to health, Jack just snapped. And then he was the one that killed Mercedes. Taking Wade Wilson's identity, Jack fled from his crimes. As if this grisly backstory wasn't bad enough, Deadpool just laughs it off and says, it doesn't matter what he did in the past as he was trying to do better in the present. Not even the revelation that he murdered an innocent woman is enough to make Deadpool stop for a moment and reflect on his actions, proving quite definitively how broken a person he is. Do you think Deadpool is truly a hero or a villain? Can he ever be redeemed for his past crimes? Leave a comment below, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching CBR.